I'm doing half a recipe here because the full recipe makes 48 crab rangoons and there's only two of us eating so no need to make that many so I'm going to do half a recipe. I've already got my cream cheese softened um, in a bowl here. I'm going to add in my imitation crab meat. Chinese restaurants around here use imitation crab meat and only imitation crab meat because it is cheap. The real stuff is uber expensive. So we're going to go the Chinese restaurant way and use imitation. And I've just chopped that up fine. Then I've got a green onion uh, that I have diced up or sliced thinly, whatever you want to call it, um, into small pieces. And I use the green part only. Then I've got some grated ginger, ginger root. You don't have to add that if you don't want it, if you don't like it. I'm also going to add in sugar and finally soy sauce. Not a lot, just barely any. And I'm just going to mix this up. And then once you get this mixed, you want to cover this and put this in the refrigerator to let the flavors meld for at least an hour. Uh, you can do up to overnight. That's perfectly fine as well. To fill these up, I've got a package of wonton wrappers here. Uh, this is Nasoya brand. You can buy these anywhere, even at Walmart. This is where I got these. Uh, they come 48 in a package, so uh, one full recipe of filling will do one package of your wonton wraps. Anyway, what you're going to do is take your wonton wraps like so, and you're going to take a teaspoon, a level teaspoon, of your filling and place it right in the middle like that. And then you want to pick this up. I find it easier to fold them when I'm holding on to them. I've got some water here and I'm just dipping my finger in it and I'm going to wet the middle of the four sides here with water just like that. And then what you want to do is pinch these. You're going to take this side here and pinch it to this side here. So you just want to pinch it together like that. And then you're going to take this side here and pinch it with that side there. Just like that. Get that flap up. And then you're going to bring these two to the middle, just like that. And then put it down and flatten the bottom. And that is how you fold the wonton wraps or stuff them or however you want to say that. So I'll do it one more time. Put a teaspoon in the center. Lick your fingers if you're the only one that's going to be eating these. Wet the four sides there. Pinch those two together. These two together. And then finally pinch it together in the middle. Flatten the bottom. And there you go. Alright, now that I got all of my crab rangoons folded up, uh, I heated some oil here over medium-high heat until it came to 350 degrees. Uh, unfortunately, my candy thermometer broke on me, so uh, to test this to make sure that it's warm enough, all I did was take a piece of bread, stick it in there, and wait for it to bubble. Um, and when it starts bubbling, it's usually a pretty good sign that it's ready to fry. So I'm just going to take my crab rangoons and place them in here uh, just a few at a time. And when these get to be a nice golden brown color, uh, my oil could have stood to be a little bit hotter. Um, I'm just going to take these out. Because my oil is not real deep, I'm going to fry the tips separately. So once I get the crab rangoons out of the oil, I'm going to take a pair of tongs here, and I'm just going to hold them, the tips, in the oil to brown up and fry a little bit. like that and that gets the tips brown for me without using a ton of oil. And after you get them all fried up, this is what they will look like. You can also bake these however the instructions that come with the ron wonton wrappers, um, it, it needs some work as far as baking goes. Um, 
because they end up with black tips and dough for the bottoms. So um, I'm sure you can bake them some way, somehow. I have never had luck baking them, so I stick to frying them. But there you go. That is how you make crab rangoon restaurant style. Hope you guys enjoy, and thanks so much for watching.